I've been writing a book for a thousand years, but it's still not done yet. In this episode of Quick Clips, I'll be revealing my most protracted project in the making that I keep hidden on my computer. Coming up! Kia ora and welcome to Quick Clips. I'm Annie Benzonelli. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to say hi on social media, Twitter and Instagram. Do you have a project that is taking a long time to develop? How long is too long? Feel free to share it in the comment section below and maybe we can help each other getting those projects out to the world. Nine years ago, I came to New Zealand to start a new career and went to film school for a year, majoring in uh, screenplay writing and drama directing. One of the tasks we had was to write a feature-length screenplay in 10 days. Mine was titled Unconventional, the story of a man coming into a new country to find love. Nothing biographical, I swear. After the exercise, I decided to take the script and rewrite it, trying to get it in a good shape and uh, also pushed towards a couple of possible investors, with no luck. Then a great idea came into my mind. Why don't I adapt the script into a book, then self-publish it, and with the revenue, finance the movie? Little I knew at the time how different it is to translate a script into a book. I've been working on it for the past five years. Well, on and off. I've managed to complete the text and I also rewrote it once. At the moment, I'm working on the second rewrite. And yesterday, while I was working on it, I realized that I wasn't into the story that much anymore. And so maybe I should just let the project go. But after investing so much time, wouldn't it be a bit of a shame to let it go? Do you think a project should be left behind when it takes too long? Or do you think we should persevere until completion? When do you think enough is enough? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation starting. And again, share maybe your project that you haven't finished yet and you've been working on it for years. And the one you really would love to give that push to get them done and shared with everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come and say hi on social media, Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, ciao! For the first time I've been shooting at night just to try to avoid that, that window there that is really bright and I tried every direction in my office but it's so tiny it's really hard. I tried as well to have some depth of field and have the blurry background but the problem is my lens is too short and my room is too small. I should be so far away from, uh, from, that, from that wall but I can't. I'm already on the doorstep. Well, I have my little camera that I will review soon so stay tuned, I will review this little puppy and I'm gonna show you how this office looks like, how tiny it is. Well, you may already see it a little bit. So here is my camera and I have it in the corridor and I have my light with an umbrella, a white umbrella. My camera is there and then uh, it has my no battery iPad. <laughs> it's not charged enough which I usually have my notes. Then uh, here you can see my big computer and my fairy lights, which I put on to try and see if I can get something nice in the background. And here it's me. So a little behind the scene. Thank you. And subscribe, come on, subscribe. Give me a couple more subscribe. I've lost two, two have gone away. Oh. I'm back down, so just click the button.